Welcome back. So when we sign in now, there's actually still a few problems that we need to handle before we start working with services. One is that when we're actually logged in, we don't know that we are logged in. The data is not stored anywhere. We just get redirected to this page now, but we don't, there still says sign in. It doesn't know that I'm actually logged in. It could be cool if now it said, um, welcome last, log out, something like that. And that's what we're going to build in the next couple of lessons. So when we do the signing, we want to store the information if actually the user is logged in inside something called the local storage, where we can then grab the data again later to display it. So I'm going into my auth service here, auth service TS file, and there I'm going to add something. If the user actually gets logged in and is accepted, then I'm going to store that information inside local storage, which is pretty much just a hash map. So think of it as a key value pair where the first is the key and then you have a value um, in the other end here, so that's equal a specific value. And then you do that again and again and again, like this. So you get some kind of array. So what we're doing here is we're saying we have a key called current user, and that's going to have a value that's going to be a JSON um, view of the actual user containing a name and a token. So I'll write token like this. That's going to be called uh, something very complex here. We don't have the token yet, so we'll make that soon. And the other part is going to be a name, and that could be LB, which is my username, right? So it's going to store that inside something called current user. If another guy logs in, that will be overwritten, okay? So the local storage will overwrite that current user uh, if, I, if I log in with another user. So that's how we store the guy. Now to pull him back out, I create another function here that's just returning the same location, current user. Notice it's the same name here and here, because I want to pull out that key, uh, sorry, that value using the key. And then I convert it back from JSON into being an actual object instead. And then you can, I can return that and use it somewhere. Now I want to do more, one more thing because I also want to be able to log out. So let's add that as well since we are here anyway. So log, log out, log out. I don't know if that's how we would write it. It doesn't matter. All I want to do when I log out is pretty much just set this to nothing. So I'll just uh, set this field to uh, null just to clear it out, now it's nothing, right? So now we can log in, we store this somewhere, and we can um, find the current user and we can log out. So those are good functions to have in our service. So let's try and implement those. Now you know what they are, next lesson we'll try and implement them inside our code. See you next time.